Good morning, grade 9 students. Our lesson is about organic chemistry. Video number 2. Let, uh, listen well to the video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at hydrocarbons, and specifically at alkanes. First, though, it's worth understanding that this whole area of chemistry is known as organic chemistry, which just means that it's all about compounds that contain carbon. You'll see over and over again in chemistry that carbon is a really useful element for making large compounds because each atom of carbon can form four strong bonds, with the most common atoms to be bonded to being either other carbon atoms or hydrogen atoms. Now, lots of molecules only contain these two elements and collectively refer to all of these molecules as hydrocarbons, which we can define as any compound that's formed from carbon and hydrogen only. So this molecule, which is called butane, is a hydrocarbon, but this similar molecule called butanol isn't a hydrocarbon because it also has an oxygen atom. The most simple type of hydrocarbons are a group called alkanes, and you need to know the first four in the series. The smallest is methane, which contains just a single carbon atom bonded to four hydrogens, because remember carbons always have four bonds. Then we have ethane with two carbons and six hydrogens, propane, which is C3H8 and butane, which is C4H10. Now, if you look at all of these compounds, you'll see that they grow by one carbon and two hydrogens each time. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same. We call groups of organic compounds like this homologous series. And it means that they all have similar properties and so react in a similar way. It also means that we can write a general formula which describes the entire series. And in the case of alkanes, the general formula is CnH2n plus 2. This might look a bit complicated, but all it means is that if the compound contains n carbon atoms, then it will contain 2 times n plus 2 more atoms of hydrogen. So if we had an alkane with three carbon atoms, like propane, then N would be three. So it would have to have two times three plus two hydrogen atoms. So eight hydrogens, which would give it the formula C3H8. Now, you only need to remember these first four, but you could be asked to use this general formula to work out the molecular formula of much larger ones. For example, octane is an alkane with eight carbon atoms. What is this molecular formula? Well, we know that for octane, N will be eight because that's how many carbons it has. So it must have two times eight plus two hydrogens, which gives us 16 plus two or 18. So its molecular formula would be C8H18. Before we finish, we just need to mention that one of the key features of alkanes is that they're saturated compounds, which means that every carbon atom has four single covalent bonds. There aren't any double bonds. For example, if we were to take this molecule of propane and change one of these single bonds to a double bond, then each of the carbons involved would have to lose a hydrogen, and what would have left would no longer be an alkane. Instead, we would class it as an alkene, which we'll see when we take a look at cracking hydrocarbons in a later video. In our next video, though, we'll stick with alkanes by taking a look at their properties and seeing how to write equations for their combustion. Anyway, that's all for now. So if you enjoyed it, then do tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time. After watching the video, 
we should write the general formula of alkane. GF means the general formula of alkane. CN, the general formula is CN H2N plus 2. Now, name N equal for N equal to 1. The name is methane. Methane. Okay? The molecular formula methane. The molecular formula is for n equal to 1 C H 4. The sexual formula or the skeletal formula is C 1, 2, 3, 4 hydrogens. H, 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 H. The condensed structure formula is C H 4. Okay, let's take for n equal to 2. For n equal to, the name is ethane. And the molecular formula is C2H6. We replace n by 2. The sexual formula is C, single C, and three H's for each carbon. The condensed structure formula is CH3, single covalent bond CH3. Okay. For N equal to 3, the name is propane. The molecular formula is C 3H8 CnH2n. The sexual formula or the skeletal formula is C single C single C and we distribute the hydrogens. The condensed sexual formula is CH3 CH2 CH3. Okay? Now, naming. First one, methane. And by A and E. Second one, ethane. Third one, propane. Then, butane. For n equal four. For n equal five, pentane. For n equal to six, hexane. For n equal seven, heptane. For n equal to eight, octane. For n equal to 9, no name, and for n equal to 10, decane. Each one ends by A and E belong to alkane family. Now, what do we mean by the molecular formula? The molecular formula, it is a chemical formula that gives the total number of atoms of each element in each molecule of a substance. We count how many carbon and how many hydrogens to write the molecular formula. What do we mean by sexual formula or the skeletal formula? It is an expanded molecular formula showing the arrangement within the molecule of atom and of bonds, each atom and each bond in the molecule. Name of molecules or the systematic name or the nomenclature it is as AUPAC name, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. The name of alkanes are methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane. What do we mean by the condensed structure formula? The condensed structure formula, it is same as the structure formula, but we condense the hydrogen atoms. Okay? assignment watch again the video fill the table of alkanes study the names fill the two tables below for n equal to 2 till n equal to 5 the table below two tables about alkene general formula we should fill the table and the second table is about alkyne 
for n equal to till n equal to 5 only. Thank you. See you later.